Nigerians across board are still lamenting over the shortage of fuel as situation bites harder. A correspondent monitored the situation in Ekiti and Ogun states in the southwest region of Nigeria. Residents of Ado Ekiti in Ekiti state appealed to the federal government to find a lasting solution to the fuel scarcity in the country. They also expressed their fears over the socio-economic impact of the scarcity on the people. Despite the federal government's promises that petrol scarcity would be over by last weekend. It's affecting every facet of our, of our livelihood. It's affecting transportation. People cannot go to work as at when due. Even if there's a patient now who's on emergency, how will the patient get to that place? It's not, it's, it's not possible. Look at Okada people. Look at my hours that we are wasting every day just because we are looking for fuel. And this is something that will not last for a, for, for a lifetime. If you buy fuel today, the best you can do is to manage as an Okada for a day. We have to look for it again. So what are we doing? And we say our youth are not doing anything. How can they do? How can they do anything? What? Why? When the whole, the future is very bleak. Even the present is not assured. It's very bad. Look at all these youths. Look at them. I just look at them and, and honestly, I feel frustrated. I just pray that something will be done. Something that will produce in our country is a shame. It's a shame to everybody. It's a shame. Big shame. You can see the situation of things in the country now. We cannot undergo it again. The suffering is too much. Look at us now, we are graduates, no work, and we are still managing ourselves, and there is no way. And they say they, they, they are saying there is a change. We don't, we don't know that these, these are the type of change they want to bring to Nigeria. So we are not happy with it. The situation of fuel in this country now is very bad, it's very worse. We are Okada men, we are graduates, and we don't have any work to do. The work that we are, that we are doing, and we don't have the fuel to work. Please, the situation is, is very bad now. Even though pure water now is 20 naira. Everything does cause we don't know the value of, of, of governments. And in Ogun State, residents of Abe Okuta lament how they struggle to get the products daily to be able to run their businesses. It really affects our business, so we are not selling anything. Everything just stands still. No markets, nothing. Customers are not coming. Even everybody in the market are complaining about because of petrol now, Gary is expensive. Price is expensive. Even ordinary red oil is expensive now in the market. Everything from Iru, 10 naira is 15 naira now. The one I bought yesterday, I bought it for the rate of 230. Can you imagine? It's not easy. And how much the aircraft cost? So I time for me now because what I buy, that what I use to get my uh, service done. The truth of the matter is that as Nigerian, I as a Nigerian, and as Nigerians, we are fed up with this government. That's the bitter truth. It's as pure as we don't even have government in this country. That is the more reason why we see some of them. In fact, I would say that the features of our children and the incoming generation, nobody can say whether they have the future in this country anymore. If the government can work on our refineries, I think that would be the best for this country in time. You know, we have refineries, they are not at full capacity working. It's not easy exporting crude oil to outside country and importing refined products. The chairman of the state's Nigeria Labour Congress, Emmanuel Bankoli, claims that the body saddled with the regulating pump price has been compromised. Unfortunately, you have a, an agency of government that is saddled with that responsibility, DPR, that is supposed to go out and ensure that where, do you yeah, see them they anywhere? Yes. So they are already compromised. So those who describe our country as a failed state, mm -hmm. uh, I think they are not uh, far from the truth. Because you just wonder, some people are paid to do it, DPR. It is their response to move out and ensure that people are not cheated. Where are they in all this scenario? You don't see them anywhere. Highly compromised people. So we will respond appropriately, I can assure you, in, in this area. Because we cannot continue all this. All efforts to speak with the controller of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority in Abel Kuta Field Office proved abortive. Most filling stations hardly opened for business, claiming the product is unavailable, while those open sell at cut throat prices ranging from 300 naira to 400 naira. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.